Elites, it is Stephen Levesque with EliteFitnessWithSteve.com and today I'm going to do part two of a kettlebell routine that I did uh, last week. I did a, I'm going to have to rename it part one because it's doing so well and uh, a lot of great responses and thumbs up. So that's what we're doing today. Before I start, I want to say welcome to my new subscribers. We hit 300 and the views are just going off the charts now. So thank you so much. Um, I'm going to grab a kettlebell and we're going to start. I'm going to show you two exercises today um, with the progression for each and I hope you like it. Stay tuned. Alright, this is the first exercise. I got my kettlebell ready. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be working in the frontal plane. So when, before we start this exercise, just do a test for yourself. Come to the side, one side and the other side, just to see how your groin and your hamstring feels. If you are tight, um, either here or here, uh, check out my video in SMR. You want to make sure you are ready to go um, and warmed up before you do the exercise because we don't want to pull anything. So what the exercise looks like is when you come to one side, that foot needs to come off the ground. You need to have that just like that. It has to come up. It's not just rocking back and forth. So as we come to a side and I'm coming up, then the kettlebell comes and taps. This side comes and tap it. Now, I like doing this like eight reps. Um, it's completely up to you depending on what weight you're using, um, whether it's lighter, whether it's heavier. You'll find your pocket. You just come down. What you don't want is excessive lean forward. You don't want that. That's not the exercise. So I'm coming across and I'm tapping. Coming across and I'm tapping. Now, a progression to this would look like this. I love this. So you're coming across, you're tapping, then we're going to pull one, two, and the same thing on this side. Come across, tap, pull, one, and two. And that is the progression. I'm going to get a different kettlebell and I'll show you exercise two. All right, are you ready? So this is exercise two. So with this exercise, you've got a choice. You can either have your feet like six inches or you can have them together and I to be honest with you like them to have them together so what we're gonna do same plane frontal plane we're gonna step over like that open up the hip and this leg this foot is gonna be pointing this direction why this one stays straight so but when we do that when we step across it's gonna look like that and you're gonna shoot the weight off just like that now I'm gonna do this side I like the feet together, move and step across just like that. Now, you can also do it this way. Look, I'm sweating all over the place. I'm a sweaty mess. All right, same thing. If you're more comfortable to have your feet uh, open a little bit, that's fine. But I tend to have my feet closer to this one. So again, I'm going to step across and go like that. And I'll show you this way. Make sure I'm in the camera. Step across. Well, see, that wasn't a good step. Step across like that. And that's the key. For me, I'm always judging my own form. And form is the key, you know, to any exercise. But I am so adamant about getting, you know, the direction your feet right and all that other stuff because that's just how I am. So a progression to this would be um, we come to the side and you want to hold it. Oh! Just like that. That wasn't even a good hold. Let me try that again. There we go. That's a better hold. And then the same thing with this side. I mean, same thing with this exercise. If have that isometric hold, I'm sweating everywhere, on top. If you like what you see and want to see exclusive content, you can go to EliteFitnessWithSteve.com. Let's try to get um, 30 likes on this video and again if you want to subscribe hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button this is Elite Fitness with Steve take care peace